once again, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail here. Since Fuso Soft 99 knocked off the long reigning champ of Turtle Wax Seal and Shine as being just a tenacious, stubborn protectant for your vehicle, let's continue on with uh, Fuso Soft 99 then. See what uh, can knock that off the hill. So today we're going to put that on the same panel with two other contestants, a powerhouse from Colonite, and also a new contestant um, I'm kind of excited to introduce to you. So without further ado, let's get this going, see if Fuso lasts another round, and we'll continue on. We have the reigning champ here, Fuso Coat Soft 99, 200 grams for $36.79, synthetic wax, can last up to 12 months, contains PTFE resin, which is used to coat Teflon pans, non-stick pans. We're going to bring in an old school uh, contender here, uh, Colonite 476, this is the most durable of that family, uh, 9 ounces for $19.99. Probably the best buy of the bunch. This is a Carnuba polymer blend and very durable. We're bringing in a surprise contender here. This is the Jade Ceramic uh, Silica Paste Tin Wax from Purus. And uh, this is a long lasting wax that, that has silica infused in the formula. The most expensive of the bunch at $74.99. But let's see how it contends and will it knock off the champ. Let's get to it. Okay, we have a nice big test area, ready to go. It's already been washed, clayed, decontaminated, and exfoliated. We have three areas masked off. This is going to be the area for the Fuso Soft 99. This is going to be the area for the Colonite 476. This will be the area for the Purus. And this will be a um, control area that's close, but we have control all the way up here as well. So this is the perfect panel for the test. And I already have it prepared and masked off so, so we can spend more time applying and then also testing the products. Let's get to it. Okay, the Fuso Wax is going on first. In its designated area, we're going to be putting two layers of each wax in each section. And we'll give plenty of time for these to cure after they all have been applied. And yes, for those not familiar with Fuso, let it sit there and dwell for 5 to 15 minutes depending on uh, temperature and humidity, and uh, then you can wipe it off. Uh, I mean, I know you don't want me to sit here and let the clock run off for 5 to 15 minutes, so uh, just like in other videos, I'm going to edit that out. But um, you know, we're all grown-ups here. Let's move on. Bring you in close so you get an idea of what each wax looks like. As it's being applied, all three of these, you don't want to put them on heavy. You want a nice, thin, but even layer entirely across the panel. Easier to work with, and that's the best way to apply it. While we're waiting for the Fuso section to dry, we can break out the Colonite 476. With this one, we're going to have a damp microfiber, works the best. Get it in there, apply it, and that one's going to wait a couple minutes for that to haze over before removing as well. Different applicators, different microfibers in each section so we do not cross-contaminate. you a close-up of what it looks like when the colonite section is being applied again nice and thin but just make sure the entire area is covered evenly while we wait for those two sections to cure and set a bit till they haze We'll apply the ceramic tin wax from Purus Jade. And I will get to the rest of their line in another video. Um, you'll be impressed with their ceramic coatings as well. This is the packaging. And uh, very effective, very impressive. We'll get to them. And just like the other two sections, we will apply, let it haze slightly, then buff off. This one 
Another hard wax. Smells like blueberry. Very pleasant to work with. Easy to apply and remove. Give you guys a close up as to what the ceramic tin wax looks like. I really wanted to pick products that would put up a good fight against Fuso. I know how tenacious and stubborn it is. So this should be this should be interesting and fun. Okay, there you go. When these are hazed, we're gonna wipe them off. I'm gonna apply a second coat in each section. I have things to do. We'll come back uh, maybe 12, 24 hours and test them. When it comes to the whiteboard today, guys, while I'm running the heat gun over, that'll give you a chance to um, uh, make one of your own if you want to, uh, or just even on a piece of paper, uh, to follow along because I really love your input. I really think I have one of the smartest audiences or subscriber bases of, of all the channels. You guys are fantastic. Um, and what I'm going to do is get you started when it comes to cost, of course, the colonite. Uh, ease of use, they were pretty much all the same, so that's a wash. Uh, if you've used all three and, and you want to put a check mark somewhere, go ahead. When it comes to slickness, I can tell you Fuso Coat takes that. I'm going to run the heat gun through those areas so you can keep track of that. And then also we're going to do uh, gloss meter readings after that. Keep track of that. Beating and its hydrophobic properties. And then towards the end, protection. And let me know down in the comments section which one of these three will move on. And, you know, if, if Fuso Coat moves on, we're going to keep going until we find something that beats it. If we have something else, else that has taken over, we'll keep going with that one until we have something that beats that. Okay, I'm going to run the heat gun through. And if you want to get set up to follow along and keep track, and let me know in the comments section at the end of the video here which one moves on. Okay, that should have given you plenty of time to get a scorecard of your own if you want to keep track. We ran um, heat gun through all of those sections exceeding 180 degrees. And just like before, the Fuso coat has a little bit of that discoloration. But when we tested, you know, um, it washed away and there was no degradation of the protection. So we'll keep track of all of these sections. Uh, gloss readings will be next outside. Okay, when it comes to gloss meter readings, we'll start up here in the control section. And you're going to see they're, uh, they're going to be rather low. Okay. All right, so we'll start in the uh, purest jade section first. Really slick here. I have to hold it. I'll take four readings from each section. And you can keep track of that. Okay, very high readings. Let's go to Colonite 476. Okay, and the last section, Fuso Soft 99. All right, very good. Those are the GU readings for each section. Keep track of that. Give the point where it needs to be awarded. And we're now going to pull out the hose and go to beading and check out the hydrophobic properties.
All right, we're going to take a look at beating, and we also want to keep an eye on the telltale signs um, that it has failed running the heat gun over it. Oh, they are both very good. This could uh, shape up to be a very good matchup. All right, control section first. This is the purest section right here. That's the ceramic wax. Very nice. Colonite 476. Also very nice. Fuso Soft 99. Very nice. We have a stronger stream from the gentle shower setting. And they all look fantastic. I can't wait to get this going. Let me grab some chemicals and we'll get it started. Okay, first we're going to start with sodium, magnesium, and calcium chloride, which is brine, what they use to treat the roads. Wrecks every one of my nozzles I put on there, so I'm just going to open up the bottle and dump it on all of the sections. All right, we'll let that sit on there for a few minutes, then we'll rinse it off. Again, I have the CarPro reset ready to go to clean the slate between every test. Okay, the brine didn't seem to phase it really all that bad, and something I take notice of all three sections here, just to help you along in the scoring, the heat um, was of no consequence to either section. Okay, let me get rid of the moisture, we'll move on. Okay, next up, and we'll take it easy, we'll use a cheap uh, dollar store cleaner here, totally awesome, auto degreaser. I want to bring you in and show you that each section is being treated equally here. We're trying to be as fair as we can. I even hit the control section. We'll let that sit for a couple minutes. Of course, I'm not going to show the time running down. I will edit that out. Then we'll rinse, grab the Car Pro, clean the slate, and take a look. All right, let me bring you in so you can look at each section. First, control. Then we have the purist section. Still going strong. Then we have the colonite section. Yeah, it's a little bit different than where we started. Okay, now we have the Fuso 99. And we have two that seem to be really doing a great job shooting uh, beating water, Fuso and Purus. Uh, Colonite fading a little bit. All right, let me uh, dry the area, drag out another chemical, 
and keep going. Okay, this time something quite a bit higher on the pH scale, 11 or 12. We'll hit these areas, reset with Car Pro, and take a look. Once again, I do want to take you in and give you an idea. All three sections are being heavily abused. Okay, let me grab you guys and bring you in close. Control section. Pure section. Colonite section. That one is fading fast. Fuso soft 99. Seems to be breaking down here a little bit, but uh, hanging tough on the sides. This one went from a strong beating to sheeting. Let's go another round. Okay, now we're going to use a panel prep. This is what I use to clean off old polish and compound residue right before protection. All three sections doused with the panel prep. Okay, let's come in and take a look. Control section, Purus. Colonite, and Fuso. Okay, good friends, this is what I use to sort of clean the slate um, between testing on my panels we're gonna hit each area with this show you that each area was doused with the chemical Okay, good friends, let me bring you in close, and this is the deciding factor here. Control, Purus, Colonite, and Fuso Soft 99.
There you go, my friends. Let me know in the comments section which one moves on. If it's Fuso Soft, we're going to keep going, see what else we can find to beat it. If it's Colonite, that's the new reigning champ. If it's Purist, that will be the new reigning champ as well, and we will continue on with that. Okay, guys. Uh, one thing that I'd like you to take notice is when we're using different panels, we are getting different um, results. Each product, each line of products will bond differently with different types of clear coat. And as I switch back and forth between the test panels I have that are from different makes, different models, have different clears, it's really interesting and very educational to see um, how they bond and how long they last to each of those panels. Something I want you to pay attention to um, as we do the testing. Now, uh, as I ask you to follow along, I would like you to let me know down in the comments section which one of these will move on. Uh, is Fuso going to be, um, you know, the continuing champ and move on to see what else will take it on? Um, do we have Colonite or Jade uh, taking over its position? You let me know. Till then, catch you guys in the next video.